Hey guys, uh, alright, so today, uh, well, this is really just a continuation of the triangle inequality theorem, and I wanted to, I was, well, I wasn't able to cover this in the last video, um, it, it goes under the heading of triangle inequality theorem, so it's something very important to remember, um, it's a very simple concept, again, this is another one that is very easy to learn and memorize, um, so basically, this theorem, okay, but what it states is that the, in a triangle, the largest angle is always opposite or across, however you want to say it, from the largest side. Okay? Um, so in our example here, um, we have a triangle labeled ABC, okay? And we have it labeled 80 degrees, 55 degrees, and 45 degrees, okay? And so at, if you can notice here, the 80 degrees is across from the 9, okay, the, the uh, side length uh, or line segment BC of length 9. And then you have, and then it goes down from there. Then if you look at the next smallest angle from there, you have 55 degrees, which is across from the next smallest side, which is the AB line segment. And then you have um, the very last angle, which is, of course, the smallest which is 45 degrees, and that is, of course, across from the smallest side, line segment AC, okay? So here's the theorem. It says, in a triangle, the largest angle is opposite the largest side, okay? That's, that's all there is to it, and so here's a real basic drawing of it. I just kind of labeled it to show you um, where, you know, with arrows, how it goes, all right, so now what I want to talk with you about is the converse of that theorem. Now, remember the converse is really just switching the, the back end of the sentence with the front end of the sentence. So for this one, the converse of that theorem that we just talked about, it says that in a triangle, the largest side is opposite the largest angle, okay? And I just wanted you to know these two theorems because, again, they go with the previous video that you watched on the triangle inequality theorem. And, again, these are very basic concepts to understand and memorize and learn. Um, and you will need these for your test. So, again, make sure you're writing down your notes. Um, write down any questions that you may have for me tomorrow. And don't be afraid to pause this video, guys. Rewind it. You know, take your time with it, okay? I want to make sure that you understand it. Alright guys, well thank you for watching and have a good evening.